everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to another edition of Twisted Sisters. This month, the Twisted Sisters will be twisting products from the March-April catalog and I have chosen Cake Day Scrapbooking. Okay, so you look at the stamp set and of course you think birthday. I'm going to twist it. Um, other products that I'm going to use are the Melissa Esplin Sentiments stamp set and papers from Love Story. And for my second card, I'm going to be using papers from Smarty Pants along with this stamp called You Did It. Okay, so let's get started. I've loaded this large cake image into my Misty and I've cut a piece of black cardstock. And I'm going to stamp this image in Versamark ink, okay? So I'm gonna change this image up. But first I'm gonna stamp it in Versamark. And I should have hit it with some anti-static powder. I always forget, <laughs> and this time I did, so, but it's okay. And then this is a uh, embossing marker from Close to My Heart. This is the bold ink pen and I'm just using it to kind of create a line along the top of the cake stand so that the letters are no longer there and then I'm just emphasizing the candles a little bit more. It's kind of hard to see in the video but you'll see it once I emboss it. Okay and then I'm going to sprinkle some gold embossing powder just at the bottom and then at the top for the candles. And then I'm going to bring in, after I tap everything off, first I'll funnel all the excess back into the jar. And then I'm going to bring in a dry paintbrush and I'm going to knock off those extra bits and just kind of clean up the image. Okay, and then I'll hit it with my heat tool. So using those, uh, the embossing marker kind of creates a solid line along the base of the cake pan or uh, the cake stand. <laughs> and then I'm going to cut it out with the coordinating thin cut. Okay, so now we have this image. And then I'm going to use the same thin cut and I'm going to cut out some pattern paper from Love Story. So I'm kind of looking at it. I'm going to make a layered cake with this patterned paper. So the black is going to be the top portion. So I'm looking at what the flowers will look like. And then I'm going to run the second piece through. And again, I'm, I'm cherry picking where I want my dye to run through. And you'll see what I mean in, in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my fine tip scissors and I'm just going to fussy cut. So I'm creating this base. So I'm kind of aiming where the tray or the, the cake stand is going to be and then I'm cutting those pieces. So now I've got two layers of cake there and then I'm going to cut the large bottom layer of the cake with this lighter pattern paper to make that other layer. Just fussy cutting, making it work. Okay, so there is my cake with some fancy patterns on it on each layer. Okay, so now I've got my card base, and the sentiment I'm going to stamp is congrats. So I'm going to get that out and set it up on my block, and then I need to start cutting all of the components to my card. So I've got some black cardstock and some gold foil cardstock. So the gold foil is going to be the base. I'm cutting that at four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm going to layer in some black. I'm cutting that at four by five and a quarter. And then I'm going to bring in some white. I'm going to cut that at three and seven eighths by five and an eighth so that I have just a teensy tiny border of black around it. Okay, so this is what I'm going to stamp my sentiment on. So I'm just kind of figuring out where the 
it's going to fit. And I think that's going to work. It's just going to fit. <laughs> and then I'm going to stamp that in black ink. So this Melissa Esplin sentiment stamp set is still available in the online only section of my online store. I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in this black Le Pen. It's a, I think it's 0.03. It's really thin black marker, and I'm just going to doodle a little border around the edges. So when you doodle, it's, it's a little scary at first, but just go for it. And it always works. It always looks good. So just draw your little right line around the edge there. And then it's time to start layering everything up. So I'm just using Tombow. And this is the new AirTouch Tombow tape runner. And if you haven't tried it, it's awesome. I highly recommend it. It's become my favorite. And then just layering everything up. I like lots of layers of cardstock with my cards. <laughs> and then I'm going to bring in my Big Shot again. And I'm going to cut a piece of craft foam with this cake image. So I'm just going to run it on through. So I want to pop that image, and I, I think this is the easiest way to, to do that. And get that image cleaned up a little bit. And then I'm just going to glue it to my cake image. And add it to the card front. So with the wet glue, you, you have a minute to kind of shift things around and line everything up before it sets up. And of course, I wasn't paying attention to my glue, <laughs> so I have to clean that up real quick. And then I can add my image to my card front. Get that glue down. Okay. And then I can add the layers to my cake. So be sure to check the link at the end of this video. I will have a playlist of all of the Twisted Sisters videos, and you can see the cool things that everyone has done to change up the products and find new uses for what's in the catalog. And I'm just layering in my cake layers with Tombow. And then of course I need some more bling, so I'm gonna bring in some gold gems and scatter those around. So I'll make a list of all the supplies that I've used with links in the description below. And most of these products are either from the core catalog or the brand new catalog in March, April. Okay, and here's some close up shots. I think it turned out pretty. And you would never know that that stamp set was originally for birthday, right? Okay, next card, I'm going to use Smarty Pants. So I'm just trimming off some pieces of Smarty Pants pattern paper to make it a little more manageable. And then I'm going to use this stamp that says, You Did It. It's a stack of books with a mortarboard on top. And then this base is going to be four by five and a quarter. And now I'm going to do some stamping. So this stamp here, it's supposed to be a, a birthday present, and um, you can layer it up with a uh, ribbon and everything. But I'm just going to use the rectangle base, and I'm going to stamp two in red on this patterned paper. It's candy apple. And then two in glacier. OK. 
Okay. So we'll get two stamped out in Glacier. And then we'll use the coordinating die cut to cut them out. Okay, first though, I'm going to stamp the You Did It stamp on White Daisy with black ink. Okay. So now I'll bring in my Big Shot and we'll cut out those rectangles with that coordinating thin cut. Skip ahead in a second. We'll run one through and then we'll skip ahead. Okay, so I've got all those cut out and then I decided I wanted a banner on the front of my card too. Okay, so I've mounted all of these stamps. There's some triangles and then some uh, dovetailed little banner pieces. So I'm going to stamp them in a variety of colors. I've got Glacier again and Sapphire to do stripes on one of the little triangle banners. And I brought in Lemonade thinking I was going to want to add that, but I wound up not using it. And then um, Candy Apple. So I'm just going to stamp a whole bunch of those and they have coordinating thin cuts. So I can make a banner on my card. Okay. And then this is the banner. So I'm going to stamp this in Versamark and then heat emboss it in gold. Okay, so we'll sprinkle some gold embossing powder. And it's a little tricky to see in the video, but in real life, you can see it and it looks great. So I'll just heat that up real quick and melt that embossing powder. And then we can skip ahead. Okay, so this you did it image, I need to fussy cut. So I've sped this up super fast. It's pretty easy to trim out. So I fussy cut it and then after that off camera, I will color everything in with the tri-blend markers. Okay. All right. So there's my finished image all colored in. And now I'm going to do a little doodling. All right. It's with the same black Le Pen. And I'm just going to make these rectangles look like they're books. So I'm just drawing little labels on them to make them look like encyclopedias or just books. <laughs> so just doodling. Just drawing vertical lines and then little rectangles and I don't want them all to be the same so kind of making them look a little bit different. Okay. All right, now we can start building our card. So I have a card base, and then I need to get a piece of candy apple cardstock. And I'm gonna cut that at four and a quarter by five and a half so that it will be a border around this patterned paper that looks like a composition notebook. So we'll just put everything down with Tombow. And then I'm going to just lay everything out on the front of the card to kind of see how it's all going to fit. I thought I was going to stack more books, but my stack was too tall. <laughs> So I'll move them around in a second. Let's see. Maybe. Mm 
Okay. And like I said, I thought I was going to use the lemonade colored banner, but I changed my mind. It's only three fit, so I'll do two glacier and one candy apple. And kind of balance the color out on the front of the card. Okay, I'm liking that. All right, so I'm just going to put things down with a combination of Tombow Tape Runner and thin foam tape. So we'll get the stack of books and the sentiment down with thin foam tape. And then I'll add this other book with thin foam tape. And then each of those banner pieces with Tombow. So again, there is a playlist at the end of this video that has all of the other videos so far from the Twisted Sisters. So be sure to check that out and see all the cool things that they have done with new products. So these are the Cake Day acrylic dots. So I'm gonna add a couple of those. And there's the finished card. So I'll have some close-up shots in a second. So I appreciate you watching my video today. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And then you'll be able to find all of my videos. And I have quite a few in the library there. And thanks for watching.